Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and uh, you would have seen in one of my earlier videos that I received another boxed Commodore 64 in really good condition. Now one of the issues that I have is that I don't have you can see here at the back, I don't have an 8 pin DIN socket for me to actually connect this up to my TV so I need to mod this uh, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, demonstration. It's actually a very simple process. I've modded quite a few of these Commodore 64s. It's just three little wires that you need to solder to the motherboard. And it's a very simple process in order to connect this machine up so that you can have AV out and makes life much easier when you hook up to your TV and it gives you a great picture. So if you'd like to see, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. I'm going to start taking the machine apart. Yeah, we can see the warranty seal. It's never been taken apart. So we can see that this machine has never been worked on. And uh, it's going to be the first time that I actually tear this open so that I can take it apart. Now this machine hasn't been cleaned at all and you can see it's still lovely, lovely condition inside. And uh, it's a simple matter of just removing a little LED light on this side over there so that you can remove the cover. And then the keyboard, removing the keyboard so, look it over here. Let's just remove there. Carefully does it. It's quite a simple matter of just removing those. And then this little bit of cardboard shielding. Just clipping that off. And there we have the machine. As you can see, it really is in good nick. Now it's just a matter of taking loose a few of the screws there so that I can get to the solder points on the other side. Okay, the board is now loose. And once again, you can see there, uh, it doesn't even look like this machine has actually ever been used. It's still in really good condition. And uh, yeah, you can see your two different DIN sockets. The one that we're going to be working on is the 8 pin. And you can see here at the back where we're going to be making our solder joins. Okay, I hope you can see this now. But uh, the little white wire, that pin over there is my video. So you can see, I think that's pin number four, my video. There I've taken ground. Let me just get something to point with. There's my ground. And there's my audio on this side over here. So those are the pins that you actually attach your AV cable to. And now I'm going to solder it up and uh, just test it. Okay, for testing purposes, you can see uh, I've just, I haven't put it all back together yet because I'm going to test it here on this. I've got a rubber mat on here so it's protected. Um, I'll attach the power cable. I've attached my video through to the socket, this audio to the socket, and through to the solders that I did underneath there. So I'm going to switch it on and see if it is working. Okay, I'm all ready. Now for the moment of truth. Just one more check. It's connected. That's all connected. Power's on. The plug is on. And it is now time to switch the machine on. And perfect. It is working. 100% Commodore 64 basic version 2 64k ready so now it's just a matter of neatening everything up attaching the uh, connections to the actual case drilling the holes through um, and then at the back let me just actually switch this off I don't like to use it too long like this on an open circuit and remove the power before I accidentally touch or short out anything uh, what I do like to do is at the back, here where I've made my solder joints, I like to use a little bit of of um, the stick glue in order to seal that off. There where I've made my soldering points so that also that it cannot have any contact against anything else. So I'm going to do that so long and then I'll put it back together and show you the end result. Okay, I've used the glue gun. And you can see there, I've just gone and put some glue, just a glob of glue around the uh, solder joints. Keeps them in place, stops them from cracking and falling off. And then I've just attached the cable. You can see I've just put a little glob over there, 
another glob over here because I'm going to be taking my cable out this side of the board when I attach it to the uh, connectors. Just makes it a lot neater, easier and uh, less chance of it coming loose. Okay, nearly finished. Um, you can see there I've wired up the uh, connections. Uh, there are the connections over there. It's just a simple matter, matter of drilling through the casing and uh, screwing them through and then just wiring up the connections. And there I'm finished. There's the completed product. As you can see, all looking nice and neat and tidy with the addition of the AV connectors which make life so much easier especially if you don't have the DIN socket. So guys give it a go very easy process as you saw just three wires to solder a couple of connectors very easy to put together and uh, can make your life so much easier give you a great picture and uh, I'm looking forward to playing a couple of games on my C64. Okay guys I hope you enjoy that. Cheers!